Hello everyone. Welcome. Today we are going to discuss the checkpoints in automation scripts. Whether it is a automation script or a manual test scenario, verification point is very important. When you write a manual test case, so you are going to write down different steps. Okay, this is the test case name and what you are going to achieve in this test case and these are the different steps. Open application. You are going to put the expected result. The moment I open application, system displays the login window. Or when I enter the agent name and password and click login, I am expecting reservation window should display and there should be an image on the reservation window. So if you look at it, without any verification there is no testing, right? Because you are going to do all this expect result based on the requirements, what the requirement says and you are going to compare that with the actual result what you get in the application. If both the results are same, then ultimately you are going to pass your test case or the automation test script or if there is a deviation between these two results then you are going to fail it. So when you look at it, say manual scenario, okay, you open the application, whatever that uh, the step says, right? And then, okay, you look at, okay, the login window got displayed and you are going to put here the actual result, what you get on the application and then accordingly you are going to pass that particular step. When it comes to automation, how the QTP will understand whether the login window displayed or not. That is where you are going to use the checkpoint functionality in QTP. So the checkpoints are useful mainly to compare the actual and expected results. It enables your script to identify what you are expecting on the application and what actual result then compares that accordingly it's going to update the status of the step in the results. So there are different types of checkpoints standard checkpoint, bitmap checkpoint, text checkpoint, text area, database XML, table, image, page and accessibility. Depends on what kind of verification you do, you are going to use different checkpoints. In today's test case, we are going to look at standard and bitmap checkpoints, how you can do that and then in later part of my video presentations we are going to talk a little bit more on the, on the other checkpoints like XML and uh, accessibility, those kind of checkpoints. Okay, so today I'm going to record um, a script with all these checkpoints. So I open the application. So here I'm going to mention, okay, this is the application I want to open. The standard executable file. Click OK and then click OK. Now let's uh, record the step by following the steps from manual test case. Alright, so the moment I open the application, I'm expecting login window should display. So for that I'm going to insert a standard checkpoint. Basically I'm going to verify here the window title. So I go ahead and use the standard checkpoint to verify the object properties. Text and text area checkpoints are mainly useful for the web applications where you're going to verify different messages that gets displayed on the application. And database checkpoints is useful uh, 
to verify the data that's stored in the cells. Accessibility is to verify whether the website in compliance with W3C accessibility standards and XML checkpoints are useful to read the values that is stored in XML nodes or the tags. Image checkpoint is useful to verify the attributes of an image. So let's start with say create a standard checkpoint and then click on this top of this window title because you want to verify the login window display or not. Then you will get a checkpoint properties window. Click OK. You will get one more window asking which property you want to verify. So here I'm going to check the text property that stores the title of the window login. So make sure this property checked and click OK. The next check, what I'm going to do is, so you can also verify this image check. So insert checkpoint and bitmap checkpoint. So click on this bitmap. Then you will get bitmap checkpoint properties and then going to hit OK button. Now it's going to capture the bitmap and shows you, okay, this is how the QTB is going to verify it whenever you run the script. And then click OK. So now go ahead and continue scripting by inputting the agent name and the password. Click OK. So in this kind of verification you are doing now whether the reservation window displayed or not. Right? That's the verification after login successful. So again, to verify this uh, reservation window title, you are going to insert standard checkpoint. And then I'm going to click on top of this window title. Okay, so there is something wrong here. Just we need to minimize this PPT. Otherwise, like that application is hiding behind the PPT. So let's minimize whatever the applications that are open and let's do that bitmap checkpoint again. This is the best practices what you can do. Just keep application and QTP side by side and minimize the rest of the applications on your desktop. That way you don't have any issues, particularly when you create these bitmap checkpoints. These are the good practices. So again, click on this bitmap checkpoint and now we are going to click on this bitmap, the image. So now it captures that bitmap checkpoint properties and you're going to hit OK button. Now it's going to capture the image. Okay, so it captures that image. So this is how it's going to verify and then click OK button. And now we are going to verify the window title as well because I want to make sure is it a flight reservation window, window or it's a different window after login. So for that you can insert a standard checkpoint to verify the window titles. So insert, then let's do one more standard checkpoint. Then click on top of this window title. Okay, then you get uh, checkpoint properties window, click OK. And you're going to hit Make sure like this text property checked, you're going to hit OK button. And the last step in your test case is close this application and your script is good. So stop recording. Okay, so that's how actually the script is uh, recorded. And now 
whenever you run the script then it's going to verify whenever right today tomorrow next week next month next year whenever you run the script it's going to verify all those bitmaps and the window titles are same or is there any change okay so let's try to run this script so click on this run button sit back and let it continue and do that all those verifications and then finally we're going to look at the results of the individual steps whether it report pass or fail Okay, so now it's uh, started executing. It opens the application. Now it's going to do those checks, whether it's a login window, and also do the check the bitmap. And after that, it's going to enter the agent name, then the password. You see the the yellow arrow bar. Just it keep executing line by line. That's where it keep moving, and then it does all the checks. Okay, now we actually here is it's going to do again two more checks for the flight registration window and uh, the reservation. Okay, so now your script execution is done and now you're going to look at the results. So it's creating the results. Okay, so now let's display the results and analyze. Okay, seems our script is good. Um, it is passed. Now you go and look at the individual steps, what it says. So there are four things that get passed. And you're going to look at, okay, the first checkpoint is to verify the login window displayed or not. That get passed. And the second check is to verify the images okay seems those those images are similar it get passed and there are two more checks here one is to verify the reservation window displayed or not and also the image so this way whenever you run the script it's going to compare what is already there in your script and what actually displayed in your application if both the things are passed ultimately you will get finally your execution step passed so that way the, the checkpoints are very useful things and that is the kind of verification what we do in the scripts. There are some other checkpoints that are very useful particularly like uh, the XML checkpoints where you use in the web services testing and also the database validations where you're going to pull the data you do something on the application and then how to read data from the database. So those are the things we are going to discuss in a later part of my presentations. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for coming to watch my video. And um, looking forward to hear you back soon. Thank you. Bye and have a good day.